The International Academy of Oral Medicine and Toxicology has worked tirelessly for more than 25 years to fund and disseminate scientific research about optimum dental health. One of our major concerns was the amount of mercury measured leaking from so-called silver amalgam fillings. It has now been proven that for people who have silver fillings in their teeth, the mercury blood level is on average 10 times higher than those without. The EPA recently determined that one out of six babies born in the U.S. have sufficient mercury in their umbilical cord blood as to suffer brain damage and loss of IQ, thus costing the nation billions of dollars in lost productivity and remedial education. July 28, 2009, the Food and Drug Administration, in defiance of their own expert panel, proclaimed mercury silver filling safe for everyone, young or old, sick or well, and even pregnant women. To support their unusual declaration, they provided documentation called a white paper. A key piece of evidence they cited was the unethical children's amalgam trials of Portugal. This academy and others filed citizens' petitions for reconsideration. In addition to numerous conflicts of interest and violations of rules laid down by Congress, we cited 27 factual errors in their white paper's justification in a 47-page petition for reconsideration, citing over 95 recent scientific articles, including a more detailed analysis of the children's trial that found mercury-related pathophysiology from amalgam fillings. In an unprecedented response and transparency from the incoming administration, the FDA granted our petition and set December 14th through the 15th, 2010, as the date for the expert panel to hear oral presentations from this academy and other petitioners, and also public comment. Many nations have recommended that dentistry abandon the use of this 200-year-old filling material. Research focused on female reproductive health has confirmed a 40% loss of fertility for dental assistants who handle this kind of filling, a point that was given no weight whatsoever in the FDA's proclamation of safety. The advocates for continued use of mercury silver fillings have not addressed any of the recent research linking mercury exposure to a whole host of neurological disorders, but instead raised two points. One, they claim that although exposure to mercury from such fillings can be measured, that fact alone does not prove that mercury has caused any specific name disorder. On second, they claim that modern restorative materials are more costly and thus poor people would be forced to go without dental care, especially children. Their first point is actually a legal argument and has no purpose in issues dealing with the public health. The second point, access to quality care for all, may have been a valid issue in the last century, but one that has been solved with improved technology, such as the atraumatic bonded restorations. The current federal law requires the FDA to have definitive proof of safety provided by the manufacturers for any substance that is implanted in a natural or man-made body cavity intended to remain more than 30 days. The Academy will urge the FDA to follow the laws of this nation and require the manufacturers to provide evidence that their product is safe. Since the manufacturers cannot produce evidence that chronic exposure to mercury is without harm, all such use of these fillings should cease immediately. It is the opinion of this academy that responsible government agencies should prohibit the use of these fillings until such time as their manufacturers produce the alleged evidence of safety. Show me the science.